Hello and welcome. I am Happily Haley and I'm an entrepreneur that's obsessed with helping you live your best life. If you're anything like I was and you feel stuck or unfulfilled in your current life circumstances, then this will be your weekly reminder to go after those dreams and make those dreams your reality. But really guys, I'm just like you. I choose to learn and grow myself every single day and that's how I decided to create my dream life. On here, I will share everything I've learned from reading and growing myself. I know you will leave here knowing that you are capable to create your dream life too. Hello everybody, I'm just popping on here today. Today I'm going to talk about top five. And what I mean about top five is who are the five people that you spend the most time with? Now I'm sure you've heard this a million times, but the five people that you spend the most time with are your people. Those are the people you're gonna become like. So I'm sure you've heard this, that saying many, many times, but your top five people, who are they? Because if the top five people that you're hanging out with are all rich, you're going to be the sixth rich person. If they're all really poor, then you're going to be the sixth poor person. Whoever these top five people are that you're hanging out with, these are the people that you're most likely to become like. So Just this year in 2021, I want you to really think about those top five. Who are those top five people in your life that you spend the most time with right now? And make sure those are people that you want to become like and people who you inspire you and lift you up and people that you just want to become in general. Because if you spend the most time with those five people, you're going to become like those five people. So that's just a little um, little inspiration for it today and talking about those top five. And I've been looking a little bit into minimalism lately. Um, I mentioned on my story that um, I wanted to be getting into minimalism. And I watched a couple documentaries and some podcasts and watched some YouTube videos. And I realized that minimalism is not what I thought it was. Um, I think in my mind I was thinking like decluttering was what I thought minimalism was. So just kind of like getting rid of stuff you don't want. But minimalism is so much more than that. It's not just things. It's people. It could be your mindset. It could be getting rid of things in your mind that you that no longer serve you. It's just really to help you live a uh, more simple lifestyle. And clearly, like I said, I'm just learning about this, so I don't really know much about it yet. And I'm actually taking a course on it next week, so I'll learn a little bit more. But really, um, with minimalism, you can do this with people. So really, I want you guys this year to take a look at those top five people. Who are those top five people that you spend the most time with? And really make sure that those are people that you want to become because you're going to become those top five people. And if for some reason I have people tell me all the time, they're like, well, maybe those top five people that, you know, those people, people in your life that you spend time with, maybe they're not serving you or maybe those are people that you don't want to become like. So if that's the case, find new people. And no, I'm not saying, oh, eliminate your dad from your life, right? They can still be in your life, but don't make them one of your top five, the people that you spend the most time with. And like I was saying, if you don't have anyone in your life right now that you're like, I really want to become like, then go and find them. So for me, for instance, on my top five, Two of my top five people are people that I listen to their podcasts and their YouTube channels because those are people that I listen to every single day and I'm constantly listening to their personal development and stuff. So those are on my top five list because those are the people that I actually spend the most time with because I'm constantly listening to their podcasts and their videos. So if you're someone right now that's like, oh, my top five people are not serving me, then go find five people that will serve you. And if they have to be people that you actually have never met but are online, then make it those people because you are going to become those top five people. So really this year, um, why I brought minimalism in is really, I didn't even tie that together, but really it could be with people. So look at those people you're spending the most time with and maybe you minimize some of those people and not to say cut them out of your life, but maybe you add people in for more times than those people are in, if that makes sense. So 
that's all I wanted to share with you today. And having, you know, your top five people that you spend the most time with is really, really so important because like I said, if you're hanging out with five hardworking people, you're going to become the sixth. If you're hanging out with five people who are lazy and unmotivated and watch movies all the time, then you're going to be the six. So you want to be, if you, the person you want to be is the people you want to be hanging out with. So thank you guys so much for listening today. I know it was a short one and I look forward to talking to you guys later. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I would be so grateful if you took one minute to send this to someone that you think this could help. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram. It's happily underscore Haley. And give me a quick follow. And take a quick screenshot and share this video in your story and tag me. I'd love to see you guys watching. Feel free to shoot me a DM as well. I can't wait to get to know you. Now go build your dream life.